Alright, so if you just watched the uh, startup video, welcome back. If you're just joining, uh, this is Windows 8 running in uh, Oracle VirtualBox. Uh, this I migrated from Windows 7 from. And uh, one thing I did real quick before starting back up is I fixed the horrendous teeny tiny little display. Uh, finally, Windows 8 actually has pretty decent uh, VirtualBox support right out of the box, but uh, this only goes up to 1600 by uh, 120 rather than the full 1080p that this monitor is. But, um, oh well, it's not bad. It's definitely better than that tiny screen. So, some first things to show off with Windows 8. Uh, text for Windows is now centered. Uh, buttons are slightly larger, probably because Windows 8 is optimized uh, for tablets. Uh, the other thing is, as you may notice, uh, things also are a lot more square this time around. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's actually any rounding at all, which is kind of disappointing. Um, it's kind of a step back, I think. Um, and also, uh, apparently I have figured out how to hide, or actually no, now the screen's cut off, never mind. For a second there I thought messing with the screen rotation actually, or uh, resolution actually got rid of the um, build number, which would have been a uh, pretty entertaining bug. Let's see uh, what we can do with this to try and get decent uh, resolution. On here, yeah. yeah, I guess that's the best we're gonna get. All right, so some of the first things uh, to notice that are new. First, I want to see what it's done to my taskbar. So it looks like uh, applications from Windows 7 do not migrate over because this was Google Chrome and it's now missing the icon. Um, which I'm going to guess means that it's completely gone missing. Uh, this is the new start button. It's a lovely square black, um, which really sticks out like a sore thumb right now compared to the rest of the taskbar. So uh, if you click the new start button, you get the new start screen, which uh, if you watch the startup video, you already know what this looks like. Uh, if you didn't, well, this is what it looks like. This is the new uh, start menu in Windows 8. It uses the uh, Tiles UI, or um, as it was previously called, the Panels UI, but now it's Tiles because uh, if you're familiar with Windows Phone, that is a UI similar to this uh, called Live Tiles. And so, uh, in theory, if you click on uh, these tiles, it's actually supposed to launch the apps and stuff. So let's see if we can get weather to start up. And, uh, wow, look at that. It actually managed to load the weather when I migrated, or did a clean install. Uh, it did not want to get the weather. So it looks like uh, there's supposed to be an animation in the background, which is horrendously choppy. Um, because, again, running this in VirtualBox, so which uh, does not have the... Uh, greatest, you know, hardware acceleration support. So if you right click, brings up this little bar down here, remove a city, current city, add, all of that uh, fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, current city and see if it can figure out where I am. I don't think it's uh, going to be able to, though, since uh, that's probably intended for if you have a GPS or a geotagged Wi-Fi network, which I am not on. Sure enough, I couldn't find it, so, oh well. Um, so one of the things that is really kind of uh, weird, or that I really haven't figured out yet, is how you actually, you know, go back uh, screens. Um, the only thing that I've found out so far is if you take the mouse and bring it all the way down to the bottom left corner, or actually usually, uh, it's supposed to pop up a 
sort of like start overlay, which um, actually now doesn't even want to work. So I'm actually not entirely sure how to go back now, because I think I actually have it stuck. Uh, Yeah, I've actually got a problem here. I've managed to get it stuck. <laughs> okay, um, I think I will cut now while I try to figure out how the heck to back out of this. Okay, so I finally managed to back out of uh, weather by actually uh, making it crash. So I, th um, it went back to the start menu and then that crashed, so I think I may have actually managed to fully uh, get this hung up now. Or, actually, no, this is still responding somewhat. Um, so, back to what I was saying before, if you flick the mouse all the way to the lower left, you kind of get this other start menu thing, which is kind of weird. Um, you also get uh, clock and uh, connected over Ethernet right now. So let's see if I can actually get this um, working again. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now that's back up. So, um, on that note, that's also how you get uh, shut down, because if you simply click on the user and you have change lock logs off the user, you actually don't have shut down. So, click all the way down to the corner and uh, go to settings. This little thing over here pops up that shows, I guess, where you currently are in case you don't know where you are. Um, network settings, volume, brightness, notifications, this is in English, and all the way in here is where power shutdown finally resides. Which, um, personally I think is not very intuitive at all. So, uh, who knows if they'll, you know, change that or anything. Um, so, anyway, since I've managed to kind of show weather, uh, probably the next important thing to show is control panel, which is that lovely blue tile there. Click on that, flips in. And this is what uh, control panel now looks like. Over here you've got your options, personal users, wireless, Notifications, privacy, general, search, share, uh, send, ease of access, devices, sync, home group, windows update, and even more settings. So over here this is personalized. So you can personalize the lock screen, um, which is just like a Windows phone lock screen where you actually now have to familiar with the old classic uh, control panel. So if I can find where my mouse is, there it is. Go ahead and close that. So um, again, if you care, here is the uh, build number. This is build 8102 with uh, gibberish tacked onto the end. Uh, another thing that you can now do in Windows 8 is if you move uh, kind of towards the top and to the left, you get a little icon of the screen you were last uh, on. Click that, and it flicks back to that. And so uh, the start menu, of course, populates with uh, all the applications that you have. Uh, Windows 8 comes with some uh, concept applications. Um, so Windows Explorer, one of the changes that's been done to that is you now have the ribbon. Usually I'm a fan of the ribbon, um, but right now in Explorer I think it takes up way too much space and quite frankly is really ugly. Um, so luckily you can easily collapse it like so, 
or you can also, of course, uh, double click on the name instead. So, sidebar, still the same, still uses the libraries and everything. Uh, let's see, my computer, still basically the same, nothing's really changed in there. Back to start. Oh, Internet Explorer, why not? even though I usually avoid it like the plague. So here we go. This is the new uh, Windows Explorer, or uh, Internet Explorer, rather. This is set to uh, the Build Windows right now as the home page, which looks like that. Here is the navigation and everything for it now thrilling stuff. Now, let's see what other apps do we have in here that may be important. Uh, store I don't believe is implemented yet. Yep, Windows uh, Store isn't yet available. Um, eventually this will be like uh, the Mac App Store, basically. Back again, start. Um, so let's see what build is. This is one of the uh, concept apps that comes with the developer preview. And, oh boy, I'm not signed in. Uh, let's see if it'll take... Uh, my Windows Live ID because I don't have an MSDN account so I don't know if I can actually get into this or not. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh well. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on here? Uh, alarms. You can now use this as an alarm clock. Uh, flashcards. Sudoku. I like uh, that, although I did like uh, Mahjong and Vista and 7. Uh, there's Labyrinth, a bunch of other things near me. Let's see what this is. Near me is loading. Do you want to turn on location services so near me can use your location? And you block or allow. Allow. And uh, this is actually purple, uh, not blue. Um, yeah, this looks like um, if I actually had location services, and if this actually uh, probably worked and did anything, this would actually show what's going on uh, near me with people, I guess. I didn't watch the keynote, so I have no idea what the heck this thing does. Right now it's just got these tiley things. Oh, there we go. What I can do for an adventure. Apparently this thinks I'm in California. I guess just defaults to that uh, because I do not have uh, GPS or anything in here that it probably uses for location services. So go ahead and back out of that. Uh, Tweetorama. I guess this is a native Twitter client. I tweet, so uh, I would probably like this. Loading something. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a Twitter client, so I'll go ahead and log into that. See what it looks like. Go, starting up. So yeah, sure enough, this is indeed a uh, Twitter client. Here's my timeline over here. There's uh, status updates, following. You can compose a status update and include a picture with it. And I guess this does not scroll. Alright, fine. 
Oh, oh, there we go. Now we're getting scrolling. Let's see if we can get what these other columns are. There we go. Um, so you can see updates from the specific person you're following. Uh, people that are following you. And I guess if you cared, you could see what they have uh, tweeted as well. Go back to start again. Uh, let's see, stocks, news, a bunch of all this other stuff. Um, so you know what, I'll go ahead and log out so you can see what uh, the new login log out screen looks like. Log off. Let's see if this will actually log off because I haven't logged off yet. And uh, the last time I did do a log off it got stuck for about 10 minutes before it gave up. So this might not actually log me out. Since it looks like this is going to take a while, I'm just going to cut and then come back uh, when it has finally decided to log me out. Alright, so sure enough, log out hung for about 10 minutes and it finally gave up, so it just kicked me back to the start screen. So uh, what I'll do instead is I will just uh, instead do a restart. Let's see, settings... on shut down. Alright, restart works. And I still have the uh, ISO image for the uh, preview mounted in VirtualBox, which is why that showed up. Again, back to the start screen with the spinning dots of wonder. I don't know if you heard that, but this does still have the same uh, startup sound that Fist and Seven had, because they haven't done anything with sounds yet. So this is the lock screen. Wonderful time and date and humongous print. You can customize the background. Connect it over Ethernet. So one of the things uh, that uh, you probably won't figure out immediately, especially if you don't have a Windows phone, is you have to actually drag this all the way to the top of the screen to unlock. The only hint you get is if you click, it goes boing. So there we go. Flick it all the way up. And so this is what the new login screen looks like, or at least if you only have one uh, account. So there's power, ease of use, account. Yeah, that's right. I have to use my live password, not my old Windows password. That's another thing you'll have to get used to, is uh, since you log in with a live ID, you use your live ID password to log into your system now, rather than a system password, although I would assume you can probably change that at some point. There we go. Logged back in now. The freaking camera will focus. So another thing um, that I don't know if you noticed before is as you uh, scroll along here. Come on. Start scrolling. Now it's still starting. Come on. There we go. Even the boxes behind also move a little bit. Oh, and now it uh, finally got my picture. 
So, yeah, for the most part, um, with Windows 8, really the only thing that's there right now is obviously the new um, start screen. Um, I've heard uh, that in the keynote they mentioned there's hundreds of features, you know, still missing. So, obviously, this is intended, you know, just to be a developer preview to give you an idea of what's coming. Um, it's free to download. If you're interested, by all means, go ahead and download it. Um, although I would stick this on a separate partition rather than uh, your um, normal machine or get uh, virtual box or Oracle that's free and make a virtual machine of it. So uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have anything you know you want to see, um, go ahead and ask. I'll see if I can find it and show it. So that's it.